What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Chud's Barbecue. My name is Bradley Robinson and today I'm going to show you how I made this. Beautiful, delicious, smoky, sticky, glazy, amazing General Sow's pork belly burn ends. Coming up. This is some pork belly. Pat it dry. And what I got here is a pretty standard pork belly. Picked this up at my local grocery store, nothing too fancy. Well, actually this is half of a pork belly and really is a great looking cut of meat. You know, nice and fatty, still got a good amount of meat on there. And today we're making pork belly burn ends. And when making pork belly burn ends, there's a few different ways you can go about it. I kind of go back and forth, but there is two methods that I really like. One is to just cube these up right now, little one inch cubes and then throw them on the pit. But another method that I really like is to cut this into strips. And that's beneficial for a few different reasons. One is that it's a lot less knife work. So if you're ever doing this in volume, say at a rest, restaurant or a pop-up or a big backyard party or something, cutting it into a strip like this is a lot easier than making a whole bunch of little cuts. Two is that on the smoker, it's a lot easier to handle these strips because you can just kind of flip it over instead of trying to flip over a bunch of tiny little ones. And also, if you're gonna cube these up, you're gonna get smoke on all six sides, which is a good thing, you know, you build up a lot of bark that way. But for me, they tend to dry out a little bit sometimes that way. And also when we cut these up into cubes after they're cooked in strip form, we'll have two sides that are exposed, giving us some textural contrast and they turn out a little bit juicier. But again, I do both ways all the time. They both work great. Well, now it's time to season these up. And today we're we're going on with some good old fashioned chud rub, my all purpose rub, but you can do whatever you like. Salt and pepper will be just fine, but we are gonna be tossing these in a sauce at the end of the day. So something that's a little more low sodium, like an all purpose rub is probably gonna work out really well and give us that nice black pepper crust. But first I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of hot sauce just because this pork belly is feeling a little bit dry and I wanna make sure we get all of our rub to stick. Hot sauce is a nice binder because it's really thin. Doesn't add much flavor, but like I say, if you're gonna add a slather, you might as well add something with some flavor. Beautiful. And then we're just gonna hit it with some rub. Fight in the wind. Rotate. Beautiful looking belly. Loving that fat to meat ratio. Same drill on this side. Ah, a bee, get out of here. And you really do gotta love some pork belly burn ends, no matter how you make them, you know? Definitely the most popular non-traditional Texas barbecue menu item you're gonna see these days. But it's also great for the backyard cook. That is, if you can find pork belly. And that's because they're super fatty, which means they're super forgiving. And they take well to pretty much every flavor profile. You know, today we're going for a general sow, kind of Chinese American flavor profile, but you can go sweet, you can go spicy, come together pretty quick. And we're seasoning all sides, folks, because you don't want to forget the sides. That would be a rookie move. Ooh. Beautiful. Even these edges, folks, come on. Now, I've never actually tried this before, but something about it seems like it'll work out pretty well. You know, a nice flavorful sauce clinging to these fatty, smoky bites. And also because there's a lot of black pepper in this rub, that'll create a lot of texture to help grab the sauce, which sounds pretty good to me. Beautiful. Lovely amount of rub on there. All right, let's go ahead and fire up the pit. One of these days, I'm gonna make some burn ends out of that pesky little snake in my boot. And on the pit we go. We're gonna be rocking a pretty classic fire today, right around 275, upward of 300 degrees, with a lovely, nice, clean post oak fire. And because they're nice, thin strips like this, it really shouldn't take all that long, but we're just trying to get some smoke flavor on there, build up that bark a little bit, and of course, render that fat. So I'm gonna let this pit come up to temp, rock them for a few hours, and we'll check back in in a little bit. It's been about four hours and this pork belly is looking really nice. Feeling very nice and tender. Beautiful dark barbecue color on there and it's just got this nice pillowy squish factor to it. Probing right around 200 degrees, probing nice and tender. And I took these pretty far because I really like that pillowy soft bite you get from just squishy pork belly. But it's obviously not falling apart, which is kind of what we're after here. So I'm gonna pull these off. Ow, how you doing? Man, this really is one of the best ways to cook pork belly. So quick, so easy, and just so squishy. Love it. We're gonna let these rest for a little bit while we start working on our sauce. Starting by dicing up some scallions. Snip the tips. Save the whites. Beautiful. Also gonna chop up some garlic. I was gonna use a garlic press, but I've been loving this little garlic mandolin lately. And I think the little slices will work out pretty well. Beautiful. And we're also gonna grab a little nub of ginger here and pop that on the old microplane. Next up into our bowl here, we're gonna go into some cornstarch, some soy sauce, and some pork stock. 
I made that just by roasting off some pork bones a while back. But chicken stock will work just fine. I'm gonna give that a little whisk to make sure all of that cornstarch is dissolved. Followed by some Shaoxing cooking wine, as well as some rice vinegar, a little bit of some sesame oil, and a whole bunch of sugar. And get that all nice and mixed up as well. And now that our pork belly has cooled down a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and chunk this up into some cubes. You can make them whatever size you like. Oops. Mm, that was really good. Could just by itself. Look at that nice juicy little bite of pork. Gotta love that. Little smoke ring on there. Beautiful. Next up to finish this off, we're gonna throw down our wok, add in a nice little squeezer of some oil, and go in with our ginger, the whites of our scallions, and our garlic. Probably not gonna use all this garlic, because that looks like a lot. And just cook this for a few minutes, let those soften up and get nice and fragrant, but make sure that garlic doesn't burn. I'm going in with all the garlic, I don't care. Oh, it smells so good already. Also gonna go in with my chilies at this point. This is just some chili de arbol. But any kind of chili you like, you can ramp it up if you want it a little spicier. And once everything is softened up, smelling really good, and starting to take on just a little bit of color, we're gonna go in with the sauce we just made. Let that cook for a little bit, make sure it's nice and hot, and all those flavors are working together well. At this point, you could also give it a quick taste. Make sure the sugar level and sodium level is where you want it to be. Beautiful, nice and bubbly, looking really thick. That cornstarch is definitely working. This is gonna cling to that pork belly beautifully. And I didn't make enough sauce for all of this, most likely, because I don't plan on eating this entire pile of pork belly. But luckily, this sauce comes together real quick, so it'll make for some easy leftovers. So now all there's left to do is grab some pork belly burn ends here and toss them in the sauce. Oh yeah. This is smelling so good already. I mean, what's not to like here, folks? A beautifully glazed, glistening little pork belly burn end covered in that nice sticky sauce. Whew, I'm ready. To play it up, I've got a lovely mound of some rice, to which we're gonna add some of our lovely little General Sow pork belly burn ends. Is it General Sow or General So? Not sure. Probably general so. Ooh, that one's feeling extra tender. Top these with a little bit of sesame seeds, which I don't think they do for general so chicken, but they look really nice on these pork belly burn ends because they're so sticky. And last but not least, the greens from our scallion. Beautiful little garnish on there. Oh, love it. Gotta say, folks, I've been wanting to make this one for a long time, and it looks so good. Nice, squishy pork belly, beautiful, sticky glaze, and uh, yeah, I'm ready to dive on in. Look at that glistening in the sun. Beautiful. Like I said, I've been wanting to make these for a while. The flavor profile seems like it would work really well. It's a nice sticky glaze, which is really common for a pork belly burn end, but it also kind of seems like one of those gimmicky internet things to do, but now that I'm staring down a plate of these bad boys, I'm really glad I made these, because especially once that sauce sets, ooh, so sticky. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is amazing. Perfect sticky glaze on there. A little bit of freshness from the greens on top. Pork is cooked perfectly. The sauce is just so thick and uh, oh, mm -hmm. It's so rich, it's so good. A little bit of sweet, a little sour, a little salty, nice and smoky. That fat is rendered perfectly. That's just a damn good bite of food right there. I mean, just look at that. Mm, would you just look at it? The texture on that is lovely. I am glad I went for the strips instead of the burn ends because otherwise these would just look incredibly burnt. But having that nice little splash of color on the cut ends there is pretty nice. I'm definitely making this again. Ooh, General Sal pork ribs. That needs to happen. Brooke, would you like to try a General Sal pork belly burn end? Ooh, yes. I was really trying to figure out what this was. I almost just had you eat it and guess, but... Is it too dark for salmon? <laughs> it kind of does look like the salmon bites. It does. Ooh, going for a big boy, huh? They're all big boys. I had that one set aside. Okay. Because I don't want you to take a bite out of it. These are poppers. You got to throw it back. Yeah, I did just have dinner. Going for a little rice on there, too. I haven't even tried yeah. it with the rice. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> mm, it's sweet. Mm -hmm. Too sweet? Mm -mm. My one regret is I wish I threw a few more arbles in there because uh, yeah, there's nope. no heat. a little bit more heat would be nice, but you know, it's not really supposed to be a spicy dish. It's good. I don't know if I could eat a whole dish of this. No, <laughs> no, this is more of a past app or party food yeah. rather than a full meal. I mean, anytime you're eating pork belly, yeah. you're not eating that much of it. Yeah, otherwise you're gonna start sweating. I've already had three. <laughs> three? I'm gonna have more too. Are you, are you sweating? Uh, yeah. <laughs> unseasonably hot today. Yeah, yesterday we had a low of, I think, 12, and today we had a high of, like, 70. 70. You have a glaze? Yeah, so it's pork belly burn-ins cooked the way I always do it, mm -hmm. and then it's a sauce made with, you know, cooking wine and a lot of sugar, soy sauce, sesame yeah. oil, tossed in there, nice and sticky. I think we're gonna have to do that sauce again. Yeah, it's really other good. things, yeah. yeah. I like the garlic. Yeah, the ginger definitely brightens it up a little bit, but it's tasty. Mm-hmm. It's sweet, it's garlicky, it does have a little zing with the ginger, but it's really nice. 
not like mm -hmm. in your face. Do you say sow or so? Sow. Okay. Yeah, I general was, sow. I got roasted for how I pronounced scallop the other day, so. Hmm. Well, because you're saying it a bunch of, around a bunch of southern people. <laughs> I, I googled it. I, I do pronounce it wrong, apparently. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I know your parents also pronounced it sca scallop. So does Bones. So yeah. I think it might be a, a New England thing. Yeah. I was going to go back, but now that it's starting to settle, that's pretty heavy. I am very full. But you know who's not very full? Oh boy. I think it's time for the official taste test. All right, because Brooke's worried about our bed sheets, we're gonna go with an unglazed one. <laughs> That's really good. All right, y'all, and that is it. That is how to make some absolutely fantastic, smoky, sticky, general sows pork belly burn ends. I highly recommend giving this one a try. It comes together really quick and easy. You know, four hours smoke, and then that sauce is super simple. And other than the possibility of crapping your pants, I really don't see a reason not to try these out. But all that being said, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that subscribe button. Let YouTube know by dropping a like on this video. If you do give this recipe a try for yourself, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chud's Barbecue. I'd love to see what y'all are cooking. Big shout out to all the Patreon members. Thank you for supporting Team Chud and allowing me to keep making all these videos. And until the next time I see you, please go cook something outside. Peace.